This tutorial will provide clear instructions on how to execute audio editing online. I will explain how to cut and merge songs using the audio cutter called the Online MP3 Cutter and Audio Trimmer by Bear Audio. You are going to love this tutorial! If you're new to my channel, I provide super fun tutorials on OBS Studios, YouTube tips and tricks, and video marketing strategy. The purpose of this underground channel is to bring you the best tutorials to boost subscribers and views for your channel. Subscribe and click the bell and we will get some together. Okay, the name of the URL is bearaudiotool.com. It is a audio trimmer, an audio cutter. It adjusts the volume. It can save in multiple file formats for you. This thing does it all. It is very simplistic and easy to use. The reason why I'm making this video is because the previous video I made a countdown timer animation and applied it to OBS. But because the timer is five minutes, I don't have a song that is exactly that length. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to import two MP3 songs that are different sizes, and we're going to cut pieces out of it so that it is perfectly at 300 seconds, which is five minutes. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. The software is really fantastic, let's go for it. I'm gonna click the Add To button. And I'm going to select my first file here. We're going to, it's going to be reggae. So file one, hit open. Now this song does not have a real clear ending to it. So I'm going to add a second one. This one's only 210 seconds long. Okay. So it's a short song. I'll hit add to again. And I'll hit the second song here. And when you hit the second song, it places that waveform or that MP3 at the end. Okay. So the last song you select goes to the end. Just keep that in mind. And as you can see, both of these songs exceed 300 seconds. They're at 420 seconds. So we're going to definitely have to make some adjustments to make sure that the ending of the second song drops at 300. Let's real quick listen to the ending of this song just to confirm that there's a clear ending for the song. Okay, the cursor's at the end. I'll hit play. All right. Perfect. So that is the ending. We're at 420. So I'm going to start by taking some time out of the first song. So I'm going to select, oh, I don't know, 80. Let's, let's do 100. We'll take 100 out of the beginning and we will hit delete. Okay, that we're brought down to 320 seconds. I see that there's a part here where the first song ends and stops and there's some dead air between the first and the second song. So I'm going to highlight this section here and I'm going to zoom in real tight. Double click to unselect. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the, as the volume drops off on the first song here, I'm going to highlight it and just take out that dead sound. I'll hit delete. And then I will click show all. There is no zoom out. There's only a zoom in and show all, which is fine. And as you can see now, it fades and then the next song starts right away. We're at 315 seconds. We only need to shave 15 seconds out of this thing. So I will put the cursor near the 15 as best I can. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in. And I'll put the cursor at 15 right here. Okay, and I will hit delete and then show all. Perfect, as you can see the second song ends perfectly at 300. We remove some of that dead sound between the two songs and it, the first song is going to start fairly abruptly. So I'm going to put the cursor at the beginning of the songs here. I'm going to hit the go to head. Head, move! And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Well, let's highlight it first before I zoom in. Okay, good. And at three seconds, I'm going to click fade in and that gives us three seconds of a fade in which is super great and I'll show all again and there we have it let's listen to that first part of that song to see if it fades in right there we go fade works good now I will click save I will select mp3 as the exported format stereo bitrate 128 that's perfect I will click save the system generates the file for us. And then I will click the click to save here. 
prompts me for a download location and I will hit save. If you're interested in some other tutorials in regards to OBS Studios, click this link right here. Stay strong and keep fighting.